Welcome back to some more High Pixel Skyblock Iron Man. Last time we actually went up and we finished getting our second Master Stars for our Gold Ore set and made some decent money that I eventually ended up spending on Master Stars. This time, well, I've got a couple things going on. Uh, mainly, I want to go back into fishing and try and max out our fishing equipment because, well, our fishing equipment is kind of missing a really, really important reforge that gives a lot of fishing speed. I'm going to need all of that speed to get the last couple diamond trophy fish eventually, but we're not going to be trophy fishing today. I've got some, uh, some more cool kind of fish. Uh, emphasis on cool there but if you guys are still looking forward to this episode of hypixel skyblock iron man hit the like button let's try and reach maybe a thousand likes on this video that would be awesome and of course if you're at all new to the channel or just haven't already hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this it's completely free and i like subscribing and commenting really really helps the video perform that much better and of course lastly if ever buy any ranks gems fire sales or anything off the hypixel store use my creator code at checkout for a five percent off discount on anything you buy my code is toad t-o-a-d just like my name and your support means the absolute world to me. But let's just go ahead and get right into what we're doing today. So uh, first off, I need a god potion because I am unbearably slow right now. There we go. Let's drink that up. And while I'm actually here, let me grab one of those enrichment swappers. Gonna want one of those. And we're throwing this on sea creature chance. Wherever it is, I can't find it. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna start off by fishing. But actually, really quick first, I just realized I have a ton of stuff to sell. I have 204 enchanted melon blocks, a lot of mushrooms, and a probably decent amount of squash. Uh, I just did some farming yesterday. Uh, off camera a little bit and let's see what we're gonna end up getting looks like we got a decent amount of money nothing crazy but 19.3 eh, mil hey maybe we'll get that up to over 20 mil today while we're fishing but let's actually get our fishing stuff set up here because it's been a while since i fished don't have that magma lord chest plate yet still looking forward to getting that but it's not something i have yet uh i don't need this i need my rod of the sea that's right or do i want to use the yeti rod um i'll grab bolt just in case because i might end up using the yeti rod because we do have marina right now i think it's three park marina at least let's grab all of our fishing stuff throw all of this on get our flying fish where is my wonderful wonderful flying fish pet there you are mr 80 speed you are going in my inventory okay let's just see how much sea creature chance do we have 104 well that's good news what about with the yeti rod we're looking at 86 okay that's a little bit rough we're also losing i think a decent amount of fishing speed if we use the yeti rod too so i don't know if i want to use this the thing is this has a pretty much double chance to get a uh, winter sea creatures so i'm thinking this is probably going to be best uh, our main goal today is getting yetis for hunks of blue ice. So, uh, oh, actually, I can fix my secret chance uh, warp forge a little bit better here because I just realized I made one of these power crystals for my beacon today because I figured, you know, more secret chance would be ideal. So let's go ahead and just chuck this in here. Where is it? Okay, looks like it's already set to secret chance. So now we have a total of 86. That's still not good, but it's not totally awful. Uh, I wish I had more speed though, but I could run around and try and find tier six books, I guess. And upgrade this rod a little bit before we get started. So let me see what I have around here because uh, anything's better than just a regular old enchanted rod. Okay, I grabbed what I think are going to be the important books for this. So let's just go ahead and apply all of these. First up, caster six. Why not? It's going to make it so we don't use as much bait. Uh, Piscary six. I have two of these and... Well, I do need a lot of these uh, yetis, so I figured, you know what, it's probably worth investing one of our books, because there really isn't any other rod that we're going to need. I need 88 levels for the next book. That's going to be a little bit much. Actually, people were telling me I should just combine all of these like this, right? Uh, and just make a book that's bigger and it's cheaper to combine. So I guess we'll see. 108 levels, that's probably cheaper than putting all of them on. So yeah, I think we'll do that. There we go. And that's mostly maxed out. The other ones I don't think really matter. Blessing, actually, Blessing probably does matter. Look at the scene Spike took won't help me for what I need, but luck of the C6 is probably good. Unfortunately, I don't know if I actually have one of those on hand. I'd have to check. It'd probably be in one of these bottom chests. This is back when I got my legendary whale pet. A lot of my uh, fishing stuff ended up going in here before I was able to sort it, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna end up having any luck of the C6 books. I'll dig around, but I probably don't have any. Oh, lucky me, I do. All right, well, Let's go ahead and throw this on. I don't know how many levels it's going to be, but I'm guessing it's going to probably be a lot. 41. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's get up to 100 levels for wisdom. There we go. I don't even know if I have wisdom on the set. I don't, but you know what? Whatever. It's always good to at least have some amount of XP if you need it. Okay, so this is our rod I'm going to be using. Um, I could recom it, actually. Uh, you know what? Recoming it probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I have the recoms to spare, so why not just kind of treat ourselves a little bit to a recommed rod? Uh, we do have like five hours left to fish, so that's pretty good, but let's go ahead and throw the recom on. That's going to give us two speed and one speed sea creature chance, so that's not too bad for 6 mil. Uh, also, I want to put expertise on this rod. In case I ever turn this into an auger rod, 
This could end up being a long time uh, use rod. 4,000 bits, that's not too bad. So we'll do that. I probably have enough levels, but now I need to uh, get some more grand so I get back up to 100. Uh, reforges, I like to use mana reforges just so I deal more uh, damage. Actually, should I use mana? Yeah, I probably should just use mana reforges just so I deal more damage fishing. There we go. And pet rules. Gotta actually set up pet rules correctly this time. So uh, I don't need fishing XP, which is really weird. So I actually might do on combat G-Drag. I think that'd be fine. And uh, for the second one, of course, on cast, we'll go with our flying fish. That will probably benefit us the most, so I can always get my magic find for my G-Drag. And everything else looks okay. So let's take a look at our stats. Actually, final, let's uh, warp save the Jerry's. There we go. And let's take a look at our stats. So our actual stats are 88 secret chance, 215 speed. That's not great. It's not awful for what this rod is, though. So now what bait do I want to use? I can do ice bait or I can do fish bait. I don't know what people generally use. Um, let me do some research. All right, looks like pretty unanimously it's decided that fish bait's the way to go because I have pretty low fishing speed with this setup. So we're just gonna go with fishing ba uh, fish bait. I don't have too much, I only have five. So that's okay, but let's go ahead and start using baits. That'll give us up to what, like 270 speed-ish? That's close to max, not quite max, but that's okay. So, you know, hopefully that we end up getting something decent this time. We've got a lot of, looks like someone's using a corrupted totem, which is good. I do need corrupt bait. Anyways, that is a nutcracker. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Looks like everyone's going to loot share that. That's fine with me. I don't really care too much about it. I only care about the yetis. So I guess let's get started. Hopefully some cool stuff happens today. Yeti, let's go. Let's get him down. Let's get him down. And okay. Nothing for me, but I need to uh, keep track of how many hunks I have. So I have six hunks now. So I should probably just like, I almost want to take my winter stack off, but we have six hunks. So I guess that's just what we use to keep track. I don't even know if you can loot share hunks. I'm guessing you can, but if you catch your own Yeti, you can get like several hunks per Yeti. So hopefully this will be the fastest way to get hunks. I'm not really too sure. Oh, wait, that was a Yeti, I think. Okay, uh, so we had six hunks. Now we have eight. So we got two from that and that was a loot share. So I guess that's good. Um, I guess we ha we're having, I think it's a chance kill them because he has the highest magic fine and pet luck combined. So anytime anyone fishes up a Yeti, he's going to be taken out with his looting five Daedalus Axe. So hopefully that'll help us get some pretty awesome drops today. Uh, by the way, using different recording settings, I don't know if, uh, it's, if it's noticeable or not. I'm trying to make the colors stand out a little bit more because YouTube tends to wash them out from how I record it. So I don't know. Hopefully it's a little bit more vibrant. Let me know what's, if it's too much or something and I'll tone it down next video or something. I don't know. I just wanted to experiment around with some stuff, see if it ends up looking good, but uh, we're just getting started. So hopefully today turns out to be a pretty good day. Oh, we got another Yeti right now. I haven't even finished saving the other clip and oh, I think I just killed it on accident. I didn't realize it was that low. I don't think I did. Uh, whoops. Oh, okay. Well, apparently got dropped. So people got loot. So I guess that's a good thing. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, uh, we got two more hunks from that. So this is actually a really, really good way to get hunks. Oh, that was my own Yeti, but I didn't get to put my Daedalus on. Bruh. Aw. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get corrupted, but that was my own Yeti. We got uh, seven hunks from that, dude. That's crazy. Dude, seven hunks. That's nuts. Dude, another Yeti. This party's getting so many so quickly. That's nuts. Well, let's see if we get anything. No, it doesn't look like it. We had 17 hunks. We are now going up to 18 hunks. Okay, so we only got one from that. I'm gonna put my winter stack in here so I can right click it easier because looks like we're getting a lot of stuff really fast. Another Yeti right here. Let's see. So he's gonna take it out and okay, well, we didn't get a pet or anything, but uh, 18 hunks goes to 19. Got one from that one. Uh, another Yeti, but the server's kind of lagging. I don't know if I hit it enough, but I'm just gonna hope I did. Let's see. No, nothing there. And we're up to 20 hunks. Okay. Dude, another Yeti already, man. What is this? This is just so many. Let's see. Can we get something good on this one? No pet, but 20 hunks going to 21. Another one drop. Well, that's okay. I guess we are technically looking for a legendary Yeti now, aren't we? Because we don't have one and eventually I will want one for, uh, what is it? M7, because eventually when we're tanking, we're going to stop using Goldor and we'll switch over to Necron tanking. But you kind of need like a level 100 legendary Yeti to do that. And well, I wouldn't, I don't really want to use a, uh, I wouldn't really want to upgrade it with Cat because I'd rather just get a natural legendary. It's also more exciting that way, so... I guess we'll just have to see how this happens. I don't know how many- Another Yeti, dude! What is this? Wait, corrupt it! Corrupt it! Or not. Okay. <laughs> well, we still got loot share from that, so I guess that's something. I tried to place the totem, but it ran away too fast. Oh, well. Well, two Yetis, one clip. That's crazy. 
Oh, what is this? A rain drake? Hold on, we gotta go fight that thing. Wait, 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 wait. I want G drag. Uh, I don't know. I guess this. This will probably work. Do I want my terror set, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Terror? Like, what do we do? Something like this. Maybe this. Okay, where's the rain drake? There he is. All right, let's get him. I have my duplex bow, so we can just kind of use the duplex bow on him. He's kind of like super far away, but there we go. Oh, that's a lot of dings. That's a lot of dings. Let me turn that down. Oh my gosh, that's so loud. Okay. Well, there we go. Now we can actually fight the rain drake, get a whole bunch of gifts. So that's kind of cool. I don't think I fished one up myself. That must have been someone else's, but look at all those red gifts it's dropping. Yeah. Let's keep taking it out. Hopefully people don't fly up and bump him up so we can't damage him. But Dude, look at that health bar on the top, man. This guy has so much health. My arrows don't even really reach him yet. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, you can finally see its health bar going down. It's barely in range of our arrows now, though. We might have to start going up after it now that it's way too high up. So, uh, do we go up or not? I don't really want to mess it up. I think it might start coming back down. I don't really know how these things work, man. It's been months since I fought a rain drake, but it's over halfway through its final health bar. So this should be it. I'm probably missing a ton of these gifts. Uh, I guess not. Are there any, uh, where is it? Any spawning up there? Okay, they're spawning up there, but I don't think you want to go up there because then the gifts just spawn in the sky and that's not good, but... It's nearly dead. Hopefully they didn't get a Yeti while I was gone because I kind of wanted to fight this thing because, well, you know, these are important. Gotta get North Stars for the minions. There we go. All right. Rain Drake has been slain. It's dropped all its loot. Is there any loot up here? Uh, not really. No. All right. Oh, another Yeti. Another chance at greatness. Let's go ahead and get some loot share on this thing. Okay, there we go. And uh, I got 25 red gifts from that red uh, Rain Drake. That's kind of crazy. Uh, 22 hunks of blue ice. Okay, not too much of anything. That's all right, though. Oh, another Yeti, so that's good to bring the luck back. Oh, another Yeti. All right, come on. Give me a legendary pet. I want to see a legendary pet. That's definitely enough uh, hits for me to loot share. Come on. And no. All right, well, we had 22 hunks going to... Oh, I didn't get a hunk at all that time. Man, that's okay. Can't get one every time. Oh, wait, that's mine. Wait, I just caught a rain trick. Yo. <laughs> Yo, wait, that's sick. I don't actually know if I need to fight this thing. People are saying that I don't actually have to go fight my own Rain Drake, but I don't know, I kind of want to for fun. So uh, let's go ahead and just take this guy out. That's pretty cool. Got our own Rain Drake. Gotta make sure this thing fully gets taken out. So let's roast him. Absolutely roast him. Look at all those presents that are going towards me. I don't even have any of my stuff on, but you know what? It's fine. We just want to take him out. Do as much damage as possible to him. Oh, what's this? Wait, Prosperity 1. Oh, is that from the Rain Drake? I think you actually get that if you fish up your own Rain Drake. Uh, I don't know what level it goes up to. I'd have to look it up later. But I guess that's cool. It goes on equipment. Um, I guess I'll just keep that in this chest or something for now. Well, that's a new enchantment I've never seen before. Another Yeti making sure I really loot share it this time. There we go. Epic Yeti. Oh, okay. It's not legendary, but... Hey, we got an epic yeti. That'll be free money, I guess. <laughs> How many hunks did we get? I think one. I'm not sure, though, but we need 96 hunks to max out the set I want to, so this, this could take a while. Oh, I got a yeti. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get something from the yeti. Where is Chance? There he is. He's getting his stuff set up here. Come on, Chance. Drop me a legendary yeti. No, literally nothing, of course. Well, 46 hunks, almost half of my goal. Uh, by the way, I've kind of, like, figured out a way to cheese get max fishing stats. So, uh, you know how if you swap rods really quick before throwing it, it uses the fishing speed of the first rod, but all of the enchants and the stuff of the second one. Well, if I hold the Hellfire Rod, we get 230, if actually, if I use my flying fish. Oh, uh, we get 257 speed. With fish bait, this is over 300, so it's max speed. Now, if I quickly swap to the Yeti Rod, then equip the Ammonite Pet, we can actually get to 101 Sea Creature Chance while still maintaining the Hellfire 300 max speed. So I've just been doing this to get both of the max stats, and it's significantly faster than what I was doing before. It's probably about 50% faster, so I'll probably just keep doing this, to be honest. It seems to be working really well. Oh, Yeti, okay, that's my Yeti. I have my air, air conditioner on, by the way, so if you can hear that, uh, that's what that sound is. Dude, no loot again! Are you serious? Well, we're up to 57 hunks now, over halfway to my goal, so... Hopefully we catch a couple more yetis today and we'll be able to get to 96 uh, hunks of blue ice. Okay, well, thanks replay buffer for this clip being able to exist. <laughs> 
I didn't get a press record in time, but baby Yeti, that's funny. Dude, he didn't mean to kill it, too. That was funny. <laughs> well, that was funny. Guess we got another epic. I finally got a Yeti, dude. Oh my gosh, please be enough. Please be 96. I'm too short. I'm too short. Oh no. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What's the fastest way to get a Yeti? Um, or I don't need a Yeti. What's the fastest way to get two things? This island is closing in like literal minutes. Um, I, I probably have a little bit of time, not like minutes, but <laughs> we need two more hunks of blue ice. Hold on. I gotta focus. I gotta get this done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, I am so done. You have no idea. Where is it? Um, Frozen Bobble, this gives festive, right? I need to grab my stupid... Where is it? This island is gonna close, like, any minute. Okay, so Frozen Bobble gives festive, right? I'm just making sure. Okay, one, two, three. Why can't I buy the third? Why can't I buy the third? Wait, wait. Why can't I buy the third? Oh, because I didn't grab all of the hunks. Okay, there we go. Um, let's finish buying this. There we go. Frozen Bobble, we have three. We are done. <laughs> Dude, I am literally, I have been sitting here at 95 out of 96 hunks of blue ice for an hour and a half. And I haven't been able to get the final one. Okay, we're done. The event is going to close in about eight minutes. I can't believe how close of a call this was. This was absolutely ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're done. We're done. I gotta go. I'll be back in a few minutes to actually put this on my armor. All right, I'm back and it's time to hopefully become the fastest fishing fisher, whatever it's called in the world. So I have these three pieces. Ooh, do I want to put this on the helmet? Ah, that's gonna suck. Actually, it won't matter because if I salvage this helmet in the future anyways, I don't need a trophy fish. So it's not like I need this anyways. So uh, I already have this chest plate festive. I think I'm just gonna put festive on these three pieces because that's my last fishing speed up. I can do. So we're just going to do that because I only have trophy fishing left to do in this game. So let's go ahead and get festive on all three of these pieces. There we go. Throw those on and let me just get my maximum fishing speed set up. All right. It looks like this is my best. So if we go warp isle here, let's go to the crimson isles to make sure we have all of our stats and everything properly. How much do I have? 277. That's a, that's a lot of speed. <laughs> okay. Maybe I didn't need to put this on every single piece, but you know what? We did it anyways. So, uh, oh wait, no, because I need to get to 350, don't I? It's not 250 I'm looking for, it's 350. So if I have fish bait, uh, that's 277 plus 45 from fish bait. That gives us 322. Now, if I drink a tonic, that's plus 30, which is 352, which is two over the cap, which is great. So we can officially hit over the speed cap, uh, fishing. So <laughs> that's going to be a first is maximum speed lava fishing. Um, I'm out of bait. I used all of it. Uh, I think I have some in reserve some just a little bit left yeah actually it looks like i have a decent amount left so we can go ahead and make five more stacks of fish bait here throw those in and let me get a tonic and i just want to see how fast maximum lava fishing speed really is all right so i have my tonic we have 307 speed with the fish bait equipped right now we will have 352 which goes over the cap of 350 well we're not under a roof let's see how fast we can fish now Hopefully it's going to be like three seconds under three seconds. Are you serious? Look at that. It's instant. It's two seconds. That's crazy. Look at that. Two to three. All right. So it just depends how long the trail ends up being. See, that's actually crazy. So if I cast directly down, it's going to be about two to three seconds. Yep. All right. Well, this is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to start trophy fishing with this and try and get the last couple trophy fish. I don't know how much progress I've shown over on the trophy fishing side of stuff, but... I'm 13 out of 18 for the uh, diamond trophy fish. All that we're missing is um, obfuscated three, vanilla slug, uh, vanilla, obfuscated three, vanilla slug, goldfish, and karate. I think that's five. Yeah, that's five. So uh, I still have to get slugfish and vanilla before I can really utilize the whole 300 speed. I guess I could utilize the 300 speed right now because I have the, I could just rod swap it, but we need slugfish. We need obfuscated three, so hopefully those aren't going to be too much of a pain for us. But I mean, we finally have maximum fishing speed on Iron Man, dude. That is absolutely insane. Can't believe we're actually pretty much done. Dude, this is awesome. But anyways, guys, for now, that's going to be for this episode of Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. If you enjoyed, again, leave a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel or just haven't already. It really helps out a ton. We're trying to speedrun 130,000 subscribers. And your support means the absolute world to me. And of course, lastly, as it says on my sidebar, use code TOAD for 5% off the entirety of the iPixel store. It's taxed with other sales. I think there's a summer sale going on, so you can really say some stuff if you use my creator code. My code is TOAD, T-O-A-D, just like my name and your support means the absolute world to me. But that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.